hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have 3a divided by 2 is equals to square root of 3a and we solve this problem for the values of a so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here in this question first we find uh, all the roots of this equation and at the last we will verify these roots and we check that which of these roots are solution of this equation and which of these roots are extraneous root and at the last uh, i can explain the term extraneous root uh, so i hope so you understand this method um, so please watch this video at the end in order to complete understanding of this question so uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is here uh, first uh, we just uh, rewrite this equation as so here first we move this 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as 3 times of a is equals to 2 times of square root of 3a so here our first target is to uh, remove the square root sign from the right hand side for this we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you will take squaring it will be written as in this form this is whole square and now we apply here the nice uh, uh, formula of a square and you know about that if we have a multiplied by b and its whole square we write it as a square multiplied by b square according to this rule we uh, just uh, break this square sign on both of these terms and here we again break uh, this square sign and here we know that the square of 3 becomes 9 and the square of a becomes a square in the same pattern the square of 4 becomes uh, the square of 2 becomes 4 and the square of a square root of 3a is uh, after this cancellation we get here 3 times of a and, and now further in the next step uh, we uh, just divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide both of the sides by 3 it will be written as in this form we divide by 3 because of 3 be the common term so here you see that this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and in the left hand side we will get here 3 times of a square is equals to this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we will get here 4 times of a and now further in the next step we move this 4a in the left hand side and it will be written as 3a square minus 4 times of a is equals to 0 and now you focus on both of these terms and you see here both of these terms involve a so that we take common a from here and when we will take common a we get the remaining values are so from here we get 3 times of a minus from here we get 4 only and this is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 3a minus 4 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the second root so uh, here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as 3a is equals to 4 so for the values of a we uh, again divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide by 3 it will be written as we divide 3 on both of the sides and now you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we will get here a is equals to 4 divided by 3 so this is the our second root of the given equation so here we find uh, the both of these roots and in the next step we need to check that which of these roots are solution and which of, of the roots are extraneous roots so that for verification of the roots if we first need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is 3a divided by 2 is equals to square root of 3a and here in this side we will put a is equals to 0 and in this side we verify a is equals to 4 over 3 so here first uh, 
uh, we need to uh, verify a is equals to zero and we will put a is equals to zero on both of the sides of the bob equation and you see here uh, this will be written as three times of zero divided by two is equals to square root of uh, three times of zero we put a equals to zero here and three times of zero becomes zero over two and this is three times of zero becomes zero and we know that when we divide zero with any other number it is always get here zero so zero divided by two becomes zero square root of zero becomes zero so this shows that the value of a is equals to zero is satisfied our given question statement so this is the one uh, solution of the given equation okay so here we need to verify the second root so we again substitute a equals to 4 over 3 on both of the sides and it will be written as first you have 3 over 2 and here we put the value of a and our a is 4 over 3 is equals to this is square root of 3 times of a and our a is equals to 4 divided by 3 and now you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get here 2 this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here square root of 4 and we know that square root of 4 becomes here 2 so this shows that the second value of a is also satisfied our given question statement so these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos